How's it? To your boy, your winner, your bookkeeper, your bookie lottery ticket, lottery ticket dot winner, lottery ticket about it. Uh, about to watch this games here, MLB and MOS tonight, but not before he gets this video around this time every day. About uh, 11 or 8 a.m. is we'll get this video to you on, on uh, Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. Got a video pick for you in just a second. Uh, your video pick today will be between Oakland and Houston as they hook up against each other in the American League Division Series Game 3. I uh, got some leans for you in baseball. Got two leans. Two leans. Still, it's a phenomenon that can go to the lottery ticket. Okay. NBA. 1 and 0 for plus 200 last night. Under 219 and a 219. Cashed easily. Didn't even have to sweat it. 102 96. 21 point under. Great news for the NBA people. MLB 2 and 2 plus 195. Three unit uh, Tampa Bay over the Yankees cashed. Uh, also, Miami Atlanta, that was an easy winner for one unit lean. The two other one unit leans, uh, uh, let's see, Oakland against Houston did not cash. No did uh, the Padres and Dodgers. Uh, we will. Uh, have yet another winning day in baseball. We got full plays, one free unit play between Miami and Atlanta at tickets underscore lottery if you want to get back. A two unit video play between Oakland and Houston that you're going to get here. And two one unit leans between Tampa Bay, New York Yankees, and San Diego and the Dodgers. Okay. MLS 1 0 for plus 100 yesterday. Uh, Nashville, Minnesota, under two and a half. That was an easy winner. Didn't even get a goal in that game. Zero, zero, baby. Okay. Got free free unit plays uh, today between uh, Miami and the New York Red. Actually, no. <laughs> FC Cincinnati and Philadelphia. Sporting Kansas City, Chicago. Seattle, we all saw it. Like, uh, two units on New York Red Bulls, Miami. And a one unit lean is on Atlanta, Orlando City at tickets under school lottery if you want to get those. WNBA, 1 0 for plus 300 to close out the year. Seattle easily cashed as a 7.5 point favorite over Las Vegas. They won by 35. Uh, that got us to uh, plus 10.25 in the WNBA season. We were as low as. Minus 1100 about two and a half weeks ago. So, winning WNBA season, it is an experimental sport at the lottery ticket. So, it doesn't count to the official record. But if you've been telling those plays along on Twitter, you have made a profit this year. Let's get to the free play uh, video play for you guys today. I like Houston against Oakland. I like Houston to sweep Oakland, you know, and, and get the win. Uh, Yukari is a better pitcher than people give him credit for. I know Grinky's on the staff and McCullough's, and so uh, because of that reason, he gets overlooked. But he didn't pitch bad. He didn't pitch bad against Oakland uh, at, at the uh, Oakland Coliseum uh, about a month ago. Uh, the team lost 3-1, to one, but he pitched very well. I think that continues. Uh, Houston definitely has the uh, swag factor over Oakland right now. Uh, Oakland's got Lozell on mound. He he gave up four runs against the White Sox uh, last time out. Uh, maybe a bounce back spot. But I think Houston just has Oakland's number. Oakland, this is what they do in the division series. Fold like a cheap lawn chair. And they're doing it right now. Uh, got to an early lead in both games. Didn't win evil. Uh, more of the same. I don't think Oakland gets off to a lead, uh, unlike the uh, other two games. I think Houston wins here. I think they might do it in a convincing fashion, but I think there's too much at stake here for Houston uh, to give Oakland a chance because when Oakland is hot, they're super hot, and when, when they're cold, they're ice cold. And they're ice cold right now, especially in their pitching staff. 
Hitting hasn't been the problem. It's been the pitching staff. And Melvin has not been, has not had a good history about choosing pitchers, winning well in the postseason. So I like Houston minus 105 then. Your two upper one unit lanes in baseball today. Uh, Tampa Bay, New York Yankees. I like over eight and a half. You can find it at Atlanta Sueno Casino in uh, Las Vegas at minus 115. Uh, I, you know, Molden hasn't pitched in two weeks. Uh, Tanaka's coming off a really bad outing against Cleveland. Um, so I think he's motivated to bounce back, but I don't think it really matters. Number one, the Yankees bullpen is completely shot against Cleveland and, and now against Tampa. They've had to have the uh, bullpen to get to you uh, to get through the game. Uh, Tampa Bay's bullpen hasn't been that great evil, uh, especially uh, game one against the Yankees. Yankees do have a better pitcher, that's for sure, to knock out against Molden. Uh, Molden can't find his command very well. Uh, the winds are blowing out at San Diego. It's rather warm there as well. That helps the over because of ball travels. Uh, Fovo, when, when it's uh, hot and, and the winds are blowing out, uh, I like the over eight and a half here. Get it before it gets to nine, because this game could really easily be a five-four, six-three, six-four type of game. I like the over eight and a half there. Uh, Dodgers, Padres. I like Dodgers minus one and a half whenever it comes out. Uh, Padres bullpen is completely shiny. You want to talk about a bullpen that is just tiled and running on fumes and running on empty. Uh, wasn't that a Jackson Brown song? <laughs> but, in, but in all seriousness, uh, the Padres are just fortunate to get here. Uh, the Padres uh, used like 10 pitchers last night. It was amazing to watch. Uh, and you're going against Clayton Kershaw. I know he's had his struggles in the playoffs, but good luck uh, this year. Completely shut down Milwaukee. I understand Milwaukee's offense isn't that good, but still, uh, you gotta believe that Dodgers just want to stab the Padres right in the heart, go up to nothing, and virtually eliminate any shot of them coming back. I like the Dodgers minus one and a half here over the Padres. Uh, some other thoughts for you guys in MLB and in MLS, and then we'll get done with this video. Miami, Atlanta, the free unit is on the total. Um, no lean. I don't think there's much value either way on the run line or the money line. Uh, Houston, Oakland, I like the under nine here. Uh, I think Lozell will bounce it back. And Nick Wright has been pitching rather well. And the bullpen's pitching very well for Houston as well. I like the under nine, Val. Um... Uh, Tampa Bay and the Yankees, no lean on the side. Uh, over one line. Dodgers Padres, no lean on the total. Uh, I just don't like the total at all. Uh, we'll go to MLS uh, here very quickly. Uh, Atlanta, Orlando City, one unit is on the money line. Um... I like the under two and a half and three here. I don't think Orlando scores a ton of goals. Atlanta's coming off a full goal performance against DC United. I think they have a letdown here. Well, I like the under there. Uh, New York Red Bulls and on Miami. I like a draw here actually at plus 255. Wouldn't be shocked to see if the New York Red Bulls win out, right? So New York Red Bulls draw no bad would be a... Uh, oh, yeah, New York Red Bulls win, draw, no bet. Would be a good uh, option for you. Uh, New York Red Bulls coming off a 3-1 to one loss to Orlando. I think the offense has been uh, greatly improved. I think they take that out on Miami. And I like the uh, Red Bulls to get a win. Um, Colorado, Los Angeles FC. I like Los Angeles FC here. I think the long team's favor. Colorado's just been so inconsistent, you can't pick them. Um, I like Los Angeles FC to get back on track and get back-to-back -back wins for the first time in a long time. Los Angeles Galaxy, Portland, the only thing I know about this game is the over three. Uh, New York City FC, DC United. 
You know, I, I like New York City FC minus one here. I think they beat DC United by multiple goals. They can't score against anybody. Uh, Houston FC Dallas, I like the draw here plus 270. I think it'll be a 1 1 type of game. Uh, FC Dallas coming off a 2 2 draw against Columbus. Houston coming off a loss against Kansas City. Um, I think both teams bounce back in a defensive manner. And I think it's. T- I think this game ends in a 1-1 draw. Um, Columbus, Montreal. I like the over three here. Montreal can't stop a nosebleed. Columbus is at home. Columbus scores a ton of goals uh, at home. Montreal get, concedes a lot away. I think Montreal gets a goal or two. But I like the over three there between Montreal and Columbus. San Jose, Vancouver, no lean. Toronto, New England, no lean. That is what we have for you guys today for the lottery ticket. Uh, got an NFL and college football uh, video that will come out probably Friday about all the games, uh, the leans, the thoughts, everything. Uh, you're working hard at the UFC, uh, soccer, uh, MLS, uh, NASCAR, Formula One, everything. You know, lottery ticket. Working hard for you guys every day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the YouTube videos if you get a chance to. And we'll see you all back here tomorrow. Lottery ticket. Peace. I said peace.